This game is so hard! I don't know what to do! Zebra's amazing walkthroughs! What's up guys, this is Zebra Gamer here with part 4 of Let's Play Jack and Daxter. In this part we'll find out what this little guy is over here. He looks pretty weird. This must be a precursor. Who awakens the oracle? Wait, one of you has the light within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. Alright, so we need 120 precursor orbs to um, get each power cell he has, which is a lot more than the normal um, 90 that the uh, villagers have. So this guy is a bit of a pricey man. So now we are actually going to uh, get the rest of the precursor orbs in this area said over village. We do have 30 out of the 50 needed, and some of them are up here. This is our. This is where you'll take if you're way up on your way up to um, Fire Canyon. But these precursor orbs are actually for uh, Sandover Village, so you do need to get these. And then the other orbs are right over here, towards. Um, uh, Forbidden Jungle, which will be starting Christ, off Forbidden Jungle in this part. For Let's get back and make the switch already. We could, but I'd rather get as much as I need to get some, to get them all, instead of doing it now. But as you can see, we have all 50 in Sandover Village, which, that's easy, not that hard at all. Later, you'll need more than 50. Um, this place is actually pretty cool. I was terrified of it as a child, but I like the I like this area now. I like the scenery and all that kind of stuff. It's pretty it's pretty easy actually now. I'll probably die a ton of times though, just because I said that. I'm probably going to try to rush. There's a lot of pillar like not pillars, but these kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but these things right here, these tree stumps, I guess, um, they have a bunch of orbs on them. Um, but you need platforming skill. I, like I said though, I was terrified of this place as a child. Like, I would not go here. I didn't care if I could beat the game or not, I would not go here. Actually, a lot of things terrified me as a child when it came to video games. I remember I used to freak out like hell when I saw one of the uh, monsters coming at me. I used to like pause the game and turn it off. As a like when I used to play games as a kid, it was more to enjoy the scenery and laugh, and instead of actually go and beat the game, I barely beat it. Beat it. There was only a few games I ever beaten as a kid. All right, so if you go up here, um. There are some orbs up here, but we will get them later. We actually have to do something else to actually get to them. You'll see a lot of uh, green eco in this area. I don't know why. Probably because there's a lot of enemies. But that's just about it. Here you get like a good view. I like this area right here because you get a good view. There's actually the best view in the game in this area, which I'll talk about when we get there. There are a lot of power cells to get in this area, and we'll be getting them in the next few parts. It's sort of hard to take this in an organized way, though, this area. But I'll try to do what I can. There's actually a lot of glitches that can be found in this area, too. I guess just because of the rocks and everything, but at the same time they have rocks like that in the game. So maybe I just don't have any idea what I'm talking about anymore. So if we go up to this area with the blue ego, it will um raise this bridge. Which that's probably gonna be the last thing we do. Probably the easiest precursor orb is right here. Let me just tell that fish to go away. Um right over here is the easiest orb to get, all you have to do is swim out to this island. But it's the most easy easiest 
to be... I, I keep on messing up my words. It's... You can miss this one pretty easy. I know that <laughs> because everyone who knows I play this game knows I know it like the back of my hand. And so they always kind of like, oh, I'm messing up her cursor or not. Like a uh, power cell or so and so in the Forbidden Jungle. And it's like, it's on the island. And they're like, oh. I don't know. People are just so easy to miss that one. And now I'm dead. From those dark eco boxes. Step one. Stay alive. Step two. Think about not doing something like that again. I'm just now realizing that's the first time we died so far in the game. Well, rather it be here than Sandover Village. I'm not sure if Dark Eco does automatic kill, but it's cool when you die. It's actually, you know, you get a laugh out of it when you die in this game. Um, because Dexter will usually say something funny. He doesn't always say something when you die. When he does, it's funny. Alright, now we're just gotta go straight down here. We're back from where we were. Where this, uh... Little scout flies just kindly waiting for us. Alright, so what we need to do is get the blue eco from over to here. And then go as fast as we can over. So that we can, uh, actually make it. To that little area so we can get more precursor orbs. It's sort of hard to explain. There you go, barely made that get a lot of precursor orbs out of this one. I like this little thing right here. Bouncy. Bouncy. And, um, now we should, uh, I think we should, um, hit over here now. There's some stuff we can get. Yeah, right over here by this waterfall. It is actually a really cool mission, which I'm probably going to save for next part. I'm not sure. Yeah, this guy right here. Actually, I'll just do it now. I have plenty of time. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. Another goblin up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set if you can catch 200 pounds of them critters. And then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. He's want to try the challenge. There are two types of good fish to catch. One pound fishies and five pound fishies. <clears throat> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and you'll poison the whole darn catch. All right, so don't let this mini game fool you. It can be easy to fail. Here comes a big one. Um, you can use the analog stick. I'd rather use the D-pad, but they don't want like you. You can only use the analog stick. This game's an analog stick only game. There's no D-pad used until next game. Now, there's a lot of these poisonous fish. It's not like they're a rarity. I already missed one fish. You want to try your hardest not to miss the big five pounders because they'll help a lot. Steady boy. I remember on my original Let's Play of this. I did horrible. I like it took me like half a part to do this. Which, you know, parts are longer now than they were then, but actually not much so because I have shorter parts compared to normal let's players. At least for this let's play so far. Like I said, this mini game can be hard, but they have a lot of mini games like this in the Jack and Dexter series. They have really fun mini games, Jack and Dexter does. And the you know, uh, sequels and stuff, Jack 2 and 3. They all have great mini games. And this part's more about dodging. <laughs> dodging the fish instead of catching them. Here comes a big one. Almost. Ah, oh, damn it. Let's try again. Here comes a big one. You did it! You caught 200 pounds of fish! Not bad for a couple of landlubbers. Here's the power cell I promised. And you can use my boat at the village dock. 
whenever you like. And there is our well-earned power cell. So, thank you guys for watching part 4 of Let's Play Jagged Next year. In the next part, we will continue our Forbidden Jungle adventuring. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in part 5.